welcome to another mom days video it feels like ages since i've seen you um but hello hello <laughs> i'm happy to be back i'm in here again um because my office is such a mess and this afternoon i will be tackling that office and uh, figuring out what's going on in there and, and you know sorting stuff out uh, and also i have been working this morning so I'm, I'm a bit more spruced than normal don't get used to it it's not going to be staying <laughs> i will be back with my hair tied back properly in dungarees the next time you see me today i thought seeing as i am now five months pregnant i thought i would give you a five months pregnancy update five month pregnancy update five months pregnancy update that that thing that thing i'm going to do an update on the fact that i'm pregnant and that i'm five months along so first things first, the app that we're using uh, tells me that the baby is, um, is almost 30 centimetres long, which is really long. That's what makes me go, oh my god, this has gone so fast, even though I don't feel like it has, really. I do think the baby's going to be here before we know it, but uh, so 30 centimetres long. But it also gives you like um, the size in, in like a, a fruit or vegetable, um, a, uh, an animal and uh and like a sweet dessert type thing so the baby is currently uh the size of an eggplant which is an aubergine it's obviously the american app an aubergine um a puppy or a fruit pie now i've never looked at those three items together um to to judge their size against each other um but interesting interesting my baby is the size of a fruit pie i don't think the app when it comes to things like animals is very accurate. Um, I, I have gone along a little bit further and uh, and found that at some point the baby's the size of a baby goat. Yeah, carrying around a baby goat. Anyway, enough about the app. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. I've got a slight uh, problem with my neck at the moment. I slept funny on it. It's not pregnancy related. One of the boys is in our bed because of jet lag and, uh, and it just meant I slept in a funny position, which now means I can't really turn my head much further i can't turn it further than that um which is highly annoying uh, quite painful um but not the end of the world how am i feeling i'm getting loads of movement now um baby is kicking and wriggling around um which is absolutely amazing i've been feeling it for quite a while like i know those little like those bubbly feeling I've known that movement um, but being able to feel it on the outside now and having Tom feel it as well is really really special it happens a lot in the morning and uh, at night when I'm in bed so basically at times I'm quiet <laughs> I do realize that first time around I feel like you know you've got those moments you've got that time where you could kind of sit and really and really you know be with your bump and really just be engrossed in what what was going on this time around i feel like morning evening great amazing um but there are times in the day where i do stop and i'm like ooh. as you had on the tube the other day and it felt like um you know when you've got like a secret smile um that feeling like when you read a text something on the on the on the on the train or on a plane or wherever in public and you just you know you have that like in a smile type thing you know a little secret or someone's made you do something uh, i did i did feel like that like, my baby's moving around inside me and no one else in this carriage knows. Yeah, that was really magical. Size wise now, I have a proper bump. Let me show you. Um, it's probably a good outfit to show you in actually. Let me see. Can you see that? Where's, where's best to show you that? Where, 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 where. There, there you go. That is the bumpish right there. Um, so, yep, there is a proper bump um, and it feels lovely. It's starting to sit in my maternity wear very, very nicely, which is good. Um, I've been in my maternity wear for a while, but I still have pieces in my wardrobe that aren't maternity. Uh, bits that are looser, um, baggier clothes, um, bits that are, you know, comfy and stuff. Uh, however, last night I did wear a pyjama bottom t-shirt combo that just wasn't cutting it. I mean, the pyjamas just, 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 just didn't work, really had like a sliver of uh, <laughs> of my bump just showing it is just a lot more comfortable to be in maternity clothes now uh even my underwear is now maternity underwear um i i wasn't oh, my bras and stuff i was fine with um for uh quite some time even when we were on holiday i was like oh i'm fine i'm fine and then when we got home i think i was putting on some like a loose t-shirt and stuff and, uh, and some baggy clothes to have our like jet lag day at home and uh, and um, all of my bras that fit were uh, in the wash because I was taking them on holiday so I picked up a maternity bra and put it on and the comfort it was so comfy uh, so basically I have lived in them ever since they just you know they just have more 
width to kind of you know because you start growing everywhere a little bit in fact it's a little bit weird because my my bras all have these clips on them um and uh for, for breastfeeding and stuff later on and uh, it's, i haven't actually done this yet but let's listen to sound <laughs> oh it takes me back and this oh yeah that takes me back my paternity underwear is on it'll probably stay on me for at least a year maybe a year and a half i can remember after buddy that having uh, a normal, you know, non-maternity bra for the first time be like, oh my god, this is amazing! Um, but as soon as you need one again, it is a bit like, oh no, this is amazing. It feels so comfortable. Nice to be comfortable. And I go through phases where I feel heavier and I feel bigger and then other days I'm up and I'm like, oh, I feel slimmer. I feel really slim right now. And I think, um, I, and that, I think that's me coming out of the stage where I am pregnant but I've also put on weight and the baby's, you know, so your body's kind of stretching and doing stuff. Whereas now I feel like it's all kind of going to the bump and, uh, and that's getting a little bit firmer. There was one day on holiday actually, but one night where I was like, my tummy's really hard now. It's got to that point where it's hard. Uh, and then I realized that it was the dinner that we'd eaten had actually just made my, my tummy go, oh, I'm really full. I mean, it's solid, you know, but it's not that hard pregnancy where you can feel nothing but baby but it's it is very much like bump shape i don't know if i'm carrying in the same way as i did with the boys i feel like i am and certainly i'm wearing a lot of the same clothes i wore with the boys and feel the same in them so i guess that means i'm carrying in the same way i have this thing in my groin which i've experienced probably from about eight weeks where if i stand up too quickly it feels like something's really like tugging um but that's just my muscles and stuff getting used to this growth that's happening you know, i know it's going to happen if i have stood up too quickly and things like that so um yeah so that's happening i've had no new cravings in fact i'm not as hungry as i was at the beginning if anything my appetite seems to have um, slowed down a bit i'm still not like overly fussed on um like avocado on toast which used to be my absolutely favorite thing to eat i'm not overly fussed about it but if tom makes me it uh, i really enjoy it so it's the idea of it that maybe i'm not that into but actually if it's there it's lovely and refreshing and delicious and uh, and obviously i will eat it and actually the one of the things i loved on holiday uh, was uh, frozen bananas covered in chocolate and sprinkled with nuts um, which i am going to be making myself and putting in the freezer because i feel like they're a nice treat but also healthy because it's frozen banana you can do it with dark chocolate and it's nuts um i mean it's not as if i'm just you know eat a bag of chocolate which i could very well do i, I feel like it will be really refreshing and really nice because the weather is getting hotter but i do like my frozen bananas covered in chocolates and sprinkled with nuts as uh, as many of you will know i am tired at the moment but i think that's jet lag rather than actual you know anything pregnancy related i was tired in florida but again travel and and florida like being in Walt disney world it is exhausting in terms of you are literally on your feet walking around all day every day pushing a pram carrying a child usually you know so it is uh, that it was quite exhausting but i think that's circumstantial rather than me actually being tired in pregnancy um i am slightly getting into nesting i'll say this because i can see the garden and i want to get out there with a shovel <laughs> um but i am getting into my gardening there are plants i'm just kind of like moving around and and, and stuff like that tom keeps taking the mickey out of me for it i want to get out there and start weeding and things like that um so uh yeah i guess i am nesting in terms of you know decluttering um which is what i'm going to be doing this afternoon i haven't started buying things for the baby yet i think i'll leave that a little bit longer uh, but what i will do is i'll go through the boys old stuff and just sort of start working out what we have i kept everything after buzz and then when buddy came along uh, and i started going through it to, to see what we had and what i would have to you know uh, get um so much of it was just stained and just useless in terms of you know, passing on to the next baby lots of memories attached obviously and sentimental value but they weren't i wasn't able to use them for buddy so this time around at least i've got two wardrobes to kind of go from but saying that there will be pieces that have been used for both of them probably a lot so i'll just see what's what's what really uh and then we can kind of go from there and see what we need for the new arrival but again you know just gonna kind of chill out with that would like to decorate the nursery at some point but the baby will be with us for six months so again i'm not i'm not that worried um yeah just quite chilled out at this point in time i would say 
enjoying pregnancy, enjoying the fact that the weather's getting warmer. Um, it's my first summer pregnancy. I know I've done pregnancy a few times before, but I've never done um, a hot pregnancy, heavily pregnant in hot weather. So if anyone's got any tips for me on how to cope being heavily pregnant in the hot weather, then please fire away. I'd love to hear more because that's an area that I don't know. I shall leave it there because I've been wobbling on for quite a while, um, but hopefully this has been a little bit insightful. Let me know if you've got any questions below and I shall answer them. Or if you've got any tips, then please leave, uh, leave those below as well because I, I really need them um I love a tip I love a tip from a mama or even you know someone saying oh this this is what I experienced I love that I'm all about that anyway thanks for listening and uh and thanks for sharing and I shall speak to you very very soon bye we are here on this very earth to love and to be loved